Hey there, fellow adventurers and curious minds. Welcome back to Authentic Tales YT. I'm thrilled to have you all here for another thrilling journey into the world of mysteries and intrigue. Today we're diving headfirst into a story that's bound to leave you on the edge of your seats, the incredible heist of none other than Bill Brennan. Before we jump into the heart of this incredible escapade, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our riveting explorations of history's most captivating stories. From legendary thieves to unsolved enigmas, we're here to satiate your appetite for adventure. Alright, let's jump right in and explore the world of Bill Brennan's heist like never before. The perfect heist of Bill Brennan, William John Bill Brennan, was a man of few words, the kind that nobody would have suspected of committing a daring act. This understated demeanor, often attributed to quiet individuals, belied the extraordinary story that was about to unfold. In the heart of Las Vegas, a city known for its glitz and glamour, Brennan's unassuming presence masked a calculated and audacious plan. At the age of 34, Bill Brennan appeared as an unremarkable figure in the grand tapestry of life. With medium build, medium height, and medium brown hair, he blended seamlessly into the background of everyday existence. Living alone, except for his cat, Brennan's world was set against the backdrop of the Stardust Hotel and Casino, an establishment that epitomized the essence of Las Vegas. Working as a sportsbook cashier at the Stardust, Brennan held a job that was far from extraordinary in the bustling city of dreams. However, beneath the surface of mediocrity, a tale of intrigue and mystery was about to unfold. On a seemingly uneventful Tuesday morning, September 22, 1992, Brennan embarked on his usual routine, arriving at his familiar post. Four years of service had rendered him a steady and reliable employee, though not one to leave an indelible mark. Brennan's life was a study in routine, characterized by punctuality, an absence of sick days, and a respectful demeanor towards his superiors. While he maintained a cordial relationship with his colleagues, he was content in his solitude never engaging in social interactions beyond necessity. Politeness characterized his interactions with the casino's patrons, though he was not one to go out of his way to form connections. Despite his unremarkable profile, Brennan was, in his own way, a cornerstone of the casino's operations, dependable, if unremarkable. A subtle shift began to take shape within Brennan's demeanor, following his unsuccessful bid for a supervisor position. The denial of this advancement seemed to mark a turning point, leaving him more introspective than ever. While it cannot be definitively stated that this rejection fueled his subsequent actions, it is an undeniable fact that something had shifted within him. The fateful afternoon of September 22, 1992 saw Brennan take an unprecedented step. During his lunch break, he quietly exited the Stardust, a nondescript bag in tow containing a staggering sum of $507,361 in cash and casino chips. Astonishingly, his departure went unnoticed by surveillance cameras and security staff alike. The man who had spent years within the confines of the casino had simply walked away, disappearing into the bustling streets of Las Vegas. The initial moments of confusion and disbelief swiftly transformed into a full-blown investigation as authorities learned of Brennan's audacious escapade. A raid on his apartment yielded little more than a couple of books on identity change, a testament to his meticulous planning. Yet, despite the exhaustive efforts to trace his steps, Brennan remained elusive, his trail growing colder with each passing day. The enigma of Brennan's disappearance was underpinned by the striking simplicity of his actions. Unlike the intricate heists depicted in Hollywood films, Brennan's plan relied on an intimate understanding of the Stardust's operations. His role as a sportsbook cashier had provided him with unparalleled knowledge of the casino's layout, camera blind spots, and security protocols. He knew the security personnel on a first-name basis, and they, in turn, were familiar with him. With access to the vault, Brennan could navigate the casino unchallenged, his comings and goings obscured by his innocuous role. Brennan's timing was impeccable, a key factor in his success. Exploiting the aftermath of a high-stakes Monday night football game, the casino's vault was brimming with cash. This calculated move ensured that his haul would be substantial, enabling him to execute his plan and disappear without a trace. The nuances of his operation, while seemingly straightforward, were a testament to his meticulous preparation. Nonetheless, lingering questions continued to shroud the narrative in ambiguity. How had Brennan managed to discreetly carry such a significant amount of cash from the premises without detection? The weight and bulk of the money in various denominations raised suspicions regarding the logistics of his escape. 
and yet Brennan had seemingly vanished, leaving no trace on security cameras or in the casino's records. Another unresolved aspect centered on the possibility of an accomplice. Brennan's reclusive nature cast doubt on this scenario, though sightings of him with a questionable figure before the heist fueled speculation. This individual, marked by a shadowy reputation, swiftly departed Las Vegas, adding to the intrigue. Was Brennan truly a lone actor, or had he found an unlikely partner in crime? The composition of Brennan's loot remained a subject of speculation as well. The casino and authorities acknowledged the theft's combination of cash and chips, but the proportions were never disclosed. If chips formed a substantial portion of the haul, laundering them would necessitate external assistance, a detail that pointed toward potential accomplices. Brennan's elusive fate further muddied the waters of this baffling tale. His apartment's contents suggested a plan to assume a new identity and flee the country, yet executing such a feat demanded more than financial resources. Brennan's ability to evade authorities and disappear entirely added layers of intrigue. The questions multiplied. How did he elude law enforcement for decades? What drove him to such drastic measures? Theories abound regarding Brennan's ultimate fate. A compelling narrative posits that he may have fallen victim to a sinister partnership, lured into the heist by an external manipulator. This collaborator, perhaps the enigmatic high roller with whom Brennan was spotted, may have exploited his resentment over the denied promotion. The plot would have culminated with Brennan's demise and a burial in the unforgiving desert, a dark conclusion to a complex tale. Yet this explanation raises its own set of questions. Why would Brennan, possessing unparalleled knowledge of the casino's inner workings, require a partner? The risks he undertook were substantial, and the notion of sharing the spoils seems incongruent with his meticulous planning. His timing, aligned with the influx of cash, suggested a calculated intention to maximize gains. Ultimately, the story of Bill Brennan remains a captivating enigma, comparable to the legend of D.B. Cooper, who vanished into thin air after hijacking an airplane. Though less renowned, Brennan's audacious heist captivates the imagination. His disappearance, as intriguing as his meticulous plan, keeps the mystery alive. If Brennan indeed succeeded in his escape, he outlasted the very institution he targeted, the Stardust, a Las Vegas icon that succumbed to the ravages of time. And there you have it. The incredible story of the heist pulled off by the notorious Bill Brennan. It's a tale that showcases both the audacity and ingenuity of individuals who sometimes choose unconventional paths. If you enjoyed diving into the world of high-stakes heists and the minds behind them, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more intriguing stories from the annals of history. And as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the incredible narratives that shape our world.